Air transport is one of the fastest growing modes of transport in recent years, but the good news is the aviation accident rate has been continually and significantly reduced over the years and decades. This has not been achieved by chance. It is the result of rulemaking, certification, oversight and standardisation and safety promotion activities. Strategic plans are developed and implemented at worldwide and regional levels by collaborative efforts between the regulators and the industry including manufacturers, airlines, training organisations, maintenance organisations, air navigation service providers, airports and other stakeholders. The European strategic planning approach is made of three elements. Firstly, a set of policies and objectives from political authorities, the European Aviation Safety Strategy. Secondly, an integrated set of regulations and activities aimed at improving safety, the European Aviation Safety Programme. It complements at European level the state safety programmes of the EU member states. Finally, high-level safety issues assessment and related action plan, the European Aviation Safety Plan. The plan is developed by the European Aviation Safety Agency following consultation with all the stakeholders and is reviewed and updated on an annual basis. A proactive approach to aviation safety requires the participation and commitment of all concerned stakeholders. The exchange of safety information is a fundamental part of the plan and is required to achieve its objectives. The implementation of a risk-based approach relies increasingly on the regular exchange of information generated by the authorities and the industry to identify hazards and systemic issues. This is also addressed in the Global Aviation Safety Plan, recently revised by ICAO. Founded in 2006, the European Strategic Safety Initiative, ESI, is a voluntary partnership with more than 150 organisations. ESI aims at further enhancing safety in Europe and for the European citizens worldwide. Co-chaired by the European Aviation Safety Agency and International Air Transport Association, the European Commercial Aviation Safety Team, ECAST, is the fixed-wing commercial air transport team of the ESI, which also contains the European Helicopter Safety Team, EHAST, and the European General Aviation Safety Team, EGAST. ECAST brings together European aviation authorities, the industry and international partners like ICAO and the FAA. ECAST is based on the principle that industry can complement regulatory action by voluntarily developing cost-effective safety enhancements. ECAST cooperates with the US Civil Aviation Safety Team, CAST, and with other major safety initiatives such as the ICAO Regional Aviation Safety Group, Europe. To date, ECAST activities have delivered a number of products freely available on the ECAST website and on Skybrary. Firstly, Ground Safety Initiative. Co-chaired by IATA, Swiss CAA and Dutch CAA, it delivered the following material. Research on human factors in ramp safety. Ground handling training material, including a ramp resource management training syllabus and contribution to the first edition of IATA Ground Operations Manual. Secondly, Runway Safety Initiative, chaired by Eurocontrol, has delivered two extremely important action plans which were fully supported by all stakeholders in the industry. First, European Action Plan for the Prevention of Runway Incursions. Second, European Action Plan for the Prevention of Runway Excursions. Another important action that ECAST initiated was that of the European Network of Analysts. The network is led by the agency with participation from national aviation authorities, accident investigation boards and Eurocontrol. The Network of Analysts was established to enable the European Safety Analysis Community to work together on taxonomy and data analysis aspects and to support the European Aviation Safety Plan. In addition to the network of analysts, ECAST's safety analysis team was also set up. Accidents in Europe are fortunately very rare, 
which implies that approaches complementary to accident analysis have to be defined to identify and manage risk. The ECAST is composed by a small group of aviation experts which aims to analyse 300 to 400 high-risk incidents annually in order to identify risks and share the lessons learned. Led by the National Aerospace Laboratory of the Netherlands, Safety Analysis Team coordinates efforts with the network of analysts. One of the early initiatives that ECAST facilitated was the Safety Management and Safety Culture Initiative. Various materials in order to support airlines implementing a safety management system were developed. Amongst these are Safety Culture Framework and guidance on organisational structure as well as guidance on hazard identification. Also guidance on operational risk assessment with the Airlines Risk Management Solutions, ARMS. Another important achievement of ECAST is the formation of the European Operators FDM Forum, which aims to facilitate the implementation of flight data monitoring programmes, share industry best practices and to help operators in drawing the maximum safety benefits from an FDM programme. Four working groups welcome participation from representatives from operators, airline trade associations, flight crew associations, aircraft manufacturers, research and education institutions and aviation regulators. ECAST also cooperates with the Future Aviation Safety Team, a team specialised in prospective safety. Prospective safety aims at identifying today the hazards and risks of tomorrow. The agency benefited from FAST and ECAST inputs for developing the methodology to assess future risks, one of the European Aviation Safety Plan deliverables. ECAST also promoted the EASA automation policy developed by the EASA Internal Group on Personnel Training based on the Cockpit Automation Survey conducted in summer 2012. Administered by the agency, ECAST and the other SE teams have been managed in compliance with ISO 9001-2008 since 2010. A survey was conducted in 2012 to get stakeholder feedback on the SE publications. The results are published on the ECAST website. ECAST activities will continue by contributing to the identification of high-risk areas and running collaborative projects to produce effective solutions and products to be offered freely to all stakeholders in Europe and beyond.